How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 video and in today's video guys we are back here working on the uh, Lancer 6 right here the Mitsubishi Lancer 6. This is a I think 2000 I think it's 2000 um, but it's going to be a uh, it's an i4 uh, it's, a, it's an all-wheel drive technically not a 4x4 but it's an all-wheel drive uh, i4 turbo uh, Mitsubishi Lancer from the Fast and Furious movies. Uh, we're just gonna hop right into it guys. Uh, let me see here First things first is we need this and then we're also going to grab this um, So I've done a bunch of the suspension already. I uh, tore it all down repaired as much of it as I could and uh, Now it's just time to put it all back together but I figured we haven't done suspension in a while so we could do that one together. Let me see let me pull off all these pieces We're not gonna need here that it's really easy any rusty pieces you know gotta go okay all right that was easy uh, let me assemble these back on only the ones that we're actually gonna need all right why is that orange that's weird and then was it this one it was all right well there we go what was that on top? Oh, it's like a roof rack for a tire up there. Weird. Okay, so next is going to be suspension. Let's see. I was working on the front when I left this off. All right, so we need a steering rack. We need a front sway bar. And that should be it for that. So sway bar and link A. Then we're going to need the uh, steering rack. I'm trying to remember what else we're going to need. Let's get the brake stuff first. Okay. We need some ventilated discs, some non ventilated discs. So the ventilated ones are usually uh, towards the front because that's where most of the braking is done. And then the non-ventilated are usually towards the rear. Oh, come on. Let's get the hub. Uh, we're gonna buy those, but I think we don't. I think we don't need those because we have uh, axles and everything. So let's just see if it'll work. Alrighty. Looks like that's coming together very, very well. Already got that suspension up there. So we need tie rod. There's this one. Sway bar end link. We got two of those. So we should be good. Uh, so let's just get the tie rod next. Ah, there we go. And then I'm going to type in hub again. Because I know I'm going to need to come back here and get uh, one of those hubs. One of the hub, shr hub shrouds. But I'm not sure yet. Then we have not done tires yet either, so we need to get um, a nice set of tires and rims. And I know which ones I want too, so should be fairly easy to go get them. Let's get knuckle A, front steering knuckle A, screw that in. And then get the shock absorber and then after this guys I think we will proceed to do the full body um, and finish that one completely Ooh, we got me to add these rubber bushings and there actually is a little bit of a exhaust on this car thankfully because everything else we've done recently none of them have had exhausts but this one has just a little bit of an exhaust Front knuckle axle cover. There she is. All right, do we have the hub? We don't. Okay. Uh, there was a reason why I left it on the hub last time, but I didn't remember why. All right, front wheel hub is good to go. Get the bearings, drive shaft, brakes, and we should be good to go after these calipers get slid back into place. 
right, yes, sir. All right, so the front suspension is done. The rear, um, it's pretty quick, actually. Oh, yeah, it's going to be real quick. So we need rear suspension, upper arm. Rear suspension, upper arm, and shock A. So let's get one of those. Shock A. Ah, there it is. And then we also need the rear sway bar B. I know we had it. There it is. There we go. The more parts we can get on, the easier it should be. All right. Still got on rubber bushings. Looks like we're going to need to pick up some small rubber bushings, though. Any minute now. I know I can get this one. So, yeah, I think this little small rubber bushing down here we're not going to have. Oh, we have one more. All right. That works. Okay. So, let's get hub three. Let's also get the... Uh, Oh, rubber. All these. And then we're going to type in suspension. And then I'm just going to have to go through and look for all those. Because I know I'm going to need a lot of suspension pieces. For the other side, at least. Because I think we had uh, we were able to repair all the ones for this side. But we were not able to repair the other side. Ooh, also, we need a new rear drive axle. But we will add that when we need to. It's all right right now, though. Okay. Spring cap. I know we have a ton of extra leftover stuff for this. At least I thought we had everything. Okay, so we need the springs. So we need two rears. We might need rear caps, but I'm pretty sure I have already gotten all the rear caps. Oh, I'm not. Okay. It's all right. Get that cap, two of those. All right, there we go. This side should be done, guys. Should be done. We can slide the drive shaft back into place while we're right here already. Get that last one. All right, now we can finish this side real quick. We shouldn't have to buy too much. Well, let me snap to this a knuckle housing for some reason. There we go. All right, sway bar. And we need this. Cha da! Get this little bushing. This bushing right here. When I first started playing this game, guys, I missed putting that bushing in probably 95% of the times, and it caused me so many problems. It was so so rough. Um, cause I, I couldn't figure it out at the time and I wasn't that good and I couldn't figure out that I needed to check everything then. Um, so I would end up having to go back through and tear apart the entire rear suspension to find what, my, what I was missing. It was, uh, pretty bad. Uh, okay. So we need this one and this one. And each one of these takes two rubber bushing. So yeah, you can burn through like 10 small rubber bushings in this rear area alone and then like another was it six or seven regular bushings or bush yeah yeah rubber bushings all right get the hub bearing and then what is this drive axle so it's just a rear drive axle just a plain good old rear drive axle we have a caliper we do sweet usually i break a lot of calipers all right, so then let's get the axle, the rear drive axle. Just rear drive axle, there it is. Let's get over here. And we add this last part in and it should give us the tire. Yep, there we go. All right. Let's get the new fuel tank slid into place and we already have the filter waiting, or the pump waiting, we already have the pump waiting. Uh, 
Oh, we did the wrong one. All right, so there's the fuel pump. And then we can do a middle muffler and a rear muffler V8 overhead valve. Okay. I think we have both those parts are in performance. So middle. Rear muffler. Yep. Right there. All right, that'll add what 1.65% and 2.25. It's about 4% gain in horsepower using those. Make sure we got this all good to go. All righty, looks like we do. So looks like the next thing we need to do is rims and tires. So what did this car come with? This car came with 15s, 225, 60. Okay, so we're gonna be doing Sports. Two twenty-five. Sixty. Um, we're actually gonna do a little bit of a smaller profile here. Let me check it again. What was it? It was fifteens. Okay. So yeah, we'll do sixteens. Let's go to the rims. So it's like a double, it's a five spoke, but like the five spoke is like a double rim, kind of like this or, or like this one, actually. There's some pretty close ones in here. I do know that to what the Fast and Furious version is. Let me just scroll down here. Yeah, it's going to be these ones up here. Um, We're going to go with one of these double ones, probably this one right here, just because it's the closest. 16s okay let's get these bad boys painted chrome because you guys know everything in fast and furious is going to be chrome absolutely everything so then you just go in here you go chrome leave it on the zero hue zero saturation 100 brightness so the third one And the fourth and final. There we go. Now let's get these ones mounted and balanced. Let's get them some. I'll get this one racing tires. You know what? Why not? Four, 16. It was 225. Then we're going to cut the profile down by 15. All right, while we wait for that, we'll go through and we'll purchase a bunch of stuff for the Lancer. Get that one bouncing while we wait. At least I can hear it, so I know when to go back and check. Oh, okay, there's a lot of stuff here. So, only purchase this. The rear left, and let's get the front two doors. Okay, there we go. Now we got that. I'm gonna go check and see real quick. There we go. I need to check and see uh, what this one looked like. Let's see here. Fast and Furious Lancer. Okay, yeah, so it's like this weird, weird looking yellow. Uh, big wing on it, okay. All right, so it had the two hood vent up here. We'll do, oh, it had this one right here. It had this type of hood with a little vent to the right. All right, we'll pick that one up real quick. these last ones balanced I guess these are more of a silver not really chrome but it'll be okay it should work and then the front bumper looks like out of these ones here it's a different like body style so it's not quite the same but the closest one is probably gonna be this one right here we don't need the rally window either so we'll wait off that 
All right, here. Let me slap on the parts that I've purchased so far, just so we don't buy extras. And this hood is going to be carbon. I think we can paint it, though. I think I'm going to paint over the carbon just to give it uh, a more authentic look. So we'll try and paint over the carbon. We'll wait. We'll wait till we hit the shop um, or the paint booth, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so tires are ready to be mounted very very chrome it's basically like a mirror at this point i really hope we can replicate the color of this car it's such a weird greeny greenish yellow something like that i don't even know what you would call this okay there we go Drop her down. Uh, so a little symbol front bumper. Yeah, this one's not bad at all. Not bad. And then headlights. Front window. So here is one headlight, one of those. One of these, one of those. And then see how we'll add that in. Both headlights. Grab the side mirrors. We don't want this uh, this thing up top here. So on our front window, it's just going to be a normal one. And then do we pick up the trunk? Oh, we did. We had two. Okay, so rear left tail light is what we're going to need. And then we are going to want a decent sized wing. And it looks like it's just a straight across wing like this one. Let's get it loaded up here. Yeah, that's pretty accurate, actually. And then the only rear part that we have here for bumpers got to be that one, so we can't really do anything else. Okay, so front left, front left. All right, uh, that might be everything. I'll check the. Uh, what? Did I really not buy a rear window? What the heck? Where's the rear window? Front window, front window, window two. Oh, there it is. It's a white little. There we go. Okay. Get this one. Get this one. That's not the correct one. There we go. We want everything on this to be perfect. All right, and then throw a new jersey plate on this. About this one, no plate up front. I'll take it. Boom! There we go. 100, 100, 100. That works fantastic. All we need to do now is paint match and the seats. So do seat five fabric A is what it's asking for. So seat five fabric A. There we go. There's two of those. And then we'll get the. There we go. String little eight. It's our more of our sportier looking one. Uh, move you back to A so I can. Our garage entrance one so I can actually hop in here and do some stuff. All right. So give me these seats. I got new ones to put in. Try and go with what it had, close to what it had at least. Alrighty. So next is paint shop. So since it's a carbon hood, I don't know if it will paint or not. Uh, we'll try and paint it, especially if it doesn't paint with the whole car. Yeah, I won't paint with the whole car. All right, that's fine. So our color and hue, it's gonna be more of an or or an orange, a yellow. This is actually really close already so wow I might have actually nailed it like on the dot wow I think I actually got it oh there is libraries oh that's awesome okay well, we will do just a little bit of library just because of the one in the movie actually has like some stuff on it. It doesn't have like Falcon and stuff like that. It has uh, 
think it's like Toyo, Toyo tires and a couple other ones. But hey, this is not bad at all. Um, let's see. Okay, let's. So it's 62, 86, 67. 62, 86, 87. Okay, let's see if we can paint this. Nope. All right, we can't. Nope. The carbon's got to stay. That sucks because the the hood we wanted looks like this one, but it's not carbon. Uh, it's all right though. All right, let's get the broken down Sylvia off of here. This poor thing didn't even didn't even make it to the dyno before it decided to not work for us. All righty, let's get this bad boy dyno. We got we have the turbo here so both these are basically gonna be making about the same power so it's 279 what did this one make when we were done oh this is a v6 okay this was 508 that's a lot okay let's get this bad boy dynoed yes please run the test so probably around 450 is what i'm gonna say maybe a little bit lower than that I would love it if we make over 500, but I don't think we're gonna make 500. Four fifty, look at that, four fifty four. Actually, guys, that is not too shabby if you ask me. Four hundred and fifty four. That's pretty good on just slapping like a just big old turbo on these. Hey, I am happy with this. I'm actually really impressed with the color we were able to get. I was not expecting us to be able to get this good of color. Also. How did this car have 15s on it originally? Those must have been absolutely tiny, tiny tires. Or wheels. Wheels, yeah. All right, let's move this bad boy back. Well, there we go, guys. This is another Fast and Furious car done. I think up next we have an S2000 and a couple other ones. I know the Super is on my list, uh, but we still have to go find that one. Uh, but if you guys are enjoying these builds so far, hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed yet. And ring that bell button also. Uh, to stay up to date uh, and get notified whenever we post videos because right now I'm a little erratic on the uh, or sporadic on the schedule on posting videos usually I'm good around 10 a.m. but today is going to be a little bit of a later one as you guys obviously uh, might have seen but I hope you guys enjoyed this I really enjoyed it uh, and I'll see you all in the next car mechanic simulator video